Hey guys, my name is Sam Snyder, and welcome to an interactive story called Black. Now, I tried to record this, record this once before, but it wasn't working, so I gave up. But now it's like a year later, and now here we are. I only got, I never got past the screen. Uh, but now that I can, like, right when I look, when my eyes are like this, I'm looking at XSplit with the game in it, so I can see how the frame rate's coming out now, because I, I, for some reason, never hooked up the double monitors when the entire time of my whole YouTube thing I could have. But now that we moved into our own apartment and we're actually living on our own and, you know, being big boy adults and paying our own bills and stuff, you know, we're, we're, I did it. I thought of my, my brain to put both of them. But anyway, this is an interactive story called Black and it was very highly rated. It's on Game Jolt. Uh, shut up! <laughs> we have a new cat named Kuma. We have three cats now. And she's loud. Okay, anyway. Uh, come closer. Keep your distance. Hide. Go. Go away. I'll keep my distance. Uh, hide. Uh oh. Hang on, I'm gonna go over here and just juice the volume up on the. Actually, I'm gonna juice it up even, even higher. Who are you? What is happening? Stop that! Stop, bish. Who are you? Get away from me, or. Hi. Who are you? Who are you? That's... Uh, I'm... I'm... Oh, there's two things I want to put. Either just the Samsonite, or... Well, I didn't spell that right. Or... Big Dick boy 69 one of the two you know we're gonna go with the samsonite we'll just we'll just samsonite that's me that's me what is a samsonite i'm a man are you okay are you okay? I might need to turn the... the... Okay. Where am I? Where is this place? Here. Where is here? You don't talk much, do you? That scared me. Should that have scared me? Because it did. You have a nice smell. I will murder you. I should really go now. No, stay. Kumo, you're being so loud! Come. Go with him or no? You know what? I don't think I want to go with him. But at the same time, he might just not know how to communicate. So I'm going to go with him. What do you want from me? Whoa! Eat. I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Nope. No! Why not? Explain why. Because you can't force people to eat if they don't want to. Why? It's not but- Whoa! Oh. I didn't mean to do that, and I didn't think the time would be- Okay. As you can tell, I'm recording this like hours before it goes up. Uh, because it's not polite. He tosses meat to you anyway. Cook it. Do you mind if I cook it? I'll start a fire then. Smells funny, but I have to say it's not bad. Yeah. We're going to become friends. Do you want to try it? You can do it. Come on here. Take a piece. It's good. I stick the cooked meat on it. Please like it. I hope he likes it. 
He's used to raw eyes. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You alright? Are you dead? I'm starting to bond with this guy. Thing. Is everything okay? What happened? Raw better. What did you say? <laughs> okay, the silence is eerie, but the creature seems willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Be kind. This is a really nice place you have. A bit dark, but uh... Nice, I guess. Aren't you cold? Don't you want to come near the fire? Shakes head. Okay. Are you afraid of the fire? Okay, I won't ask. I'm very curious as to what's going on. I'm gonna turn that back down some. Have you been living here for long? Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? I'll tell him the truth. I don't remember. Something's wrong with my memory. The last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. And you? Here. This is your home? How long have you been here? Long. Soon it'll get dark and cold. Where did he go? I warm my hands with the flames. You're ugly. Wow, so out of the blue. Thanks, I guess. But not scary. Well, I don't want to be right now. There are scarier things out there. That's a bit... What are you doing? I don't like this. Is he sharpening his spear? Uh oh. Sleep? I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, someone's texting me. It's my sister. Sleep, I guess? The dark came really fast, but there's no way I'm sleeping. I don't want to flee. There's probably something waiting in the shower, waiting for me to lower my guard, and then what? Kill me? Well, I was going to say, I don't want him chasing me, which is why I don't want to flee. I want to kill him now if he's going to kill me. I feel like he could have, and he just didn't, and this isn't a play with your food kind of I'm going to enter the cave. I'm going What happened? The fire. I grip one of the logs and start to wave it around blindly. Show yourself. You coward. What do you want from me? He's over there. A man is good, is very good. Get away from me. What? Why do I keep doing that? Stop. Quit it. He's gone. What? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel violent. Uh... Uh, I enter the darkness. Oh, boy. I feel tense like a live wire. My insides are twisting. I'm gonna go back over here and just turn the volume to where it normally is. The cats are out of here. No, it's so dark. Uh-oh. You won't scare me. You hear me? This ends now. There's a passage. A lake? Listen, I won't die of thirst if I don't die of something else. I look around, but the darkness is too thick. It seems like there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, when suddenly... I see him. On the ground, sleeping. Or pretending to. 
I barely hold back the urge to vomit. He is monstrous, the ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Carefully, ever so carefully, I take his spear. Now armed, I know what I must do. No, I'm not going to kill him. I hear something going. I look at him in the dark. He seems he sleeps peacefully with a smile somewhat creepy. He almost seems content. As ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. I hesitate, and he stirs into sleep, and the light from the torch wakes him. Sorry, I didn't mean it. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness, hissing, patting the ground flat, frantically searching for his spear. Don't even think about it. I have your weapon. I grip the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest. Now give me a good reason not to kill you. He lunges at me. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. The tunnel leads me back to the bonfire, where I scan my surroundings and search for him, ready to attack. I don't know what you were trying to do before, but I'm not scared of you. Understand? Come out. Look, I know you want to eat me, but it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about him. We can start over. We can help each other. As a sign of my good intentions, I let the spear fall to the ground. It's risky, but it's the only way. Uh oh. I'm looking for his eyeballs. There he is. What's your answer? I my tummy aches. I've never eaten a Samsonite before. Me neither. Maybe if I eat you, my belly won't hurt anymore. You don't need to eat me to get better. On the contrary, it will get you even sicker. No, I tried everything else. I always puke. You are the only thing left to try. And that's why you're sick. You probably have some kind of indigestion or stomach virus. Eating random things won't cure you. You need medicine. How long have you been feeling like this? A couple of days. Couldn't you find someone to help you? There's no one to ask. There's never been anyone here. Never. Until you. I was thinking of eating you, it's true. But I didn't try to yet. That's somewhat comforting. What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you. And you just said there's no one else here. No one, yes. See, only them. Them. Those things. What things? They become your nightmares, your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can even get in here if you're not careful. Wait, are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here who enter your thoughts and materialize your fears? So, it wasn't you who tried to kill me. I'm just imagining it. Whenever there's... Whenever there's white, they can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? What? White? What is he talking about? I scoff. All this situation seems too much absurd to me. Why didn't you let me go outside and let me let them kill me if you're so afraid of me? I wanted to know you first. And now that you know me, what's the verdict? You seem nice. You could have let me know instead of being a jerk to me. I wasn't. Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, telling me I smell nice. Is that rude? You said it like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. I shouldn't probably give him ideas. But you do. <laughs> I smell of sweat and dirt. That's good. Well, compared to him, I might as well, I might as well smell like a flowery meadow. But am I believing this? Yeah. Alright, then what about that smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear? I wasn't sharpening anything. He seems genuinely confused. What was that sound? He goes suddenly quiet. He seems hesitant, almost timid. He brings a closed fist to his chest. Then he looks at you, lowering his gaze again. Something rolls and stops short in front of you. What's this? Some kind of wrapping. I pick it up. Inside, 
there's a strange black stone. They're afraid of this color. If you paint your face and clothes with it, they'll leave you alone. Didn't you want to eat me? As if that answer is too much for him, he leaves before you could say something else. And leaves a spear behind. I'm left here alone. I imagine the rock in my hand is some sort of charcoal. It leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss wrapping aside when at the last moment I realize that it's paper folded in two. Opening it, I find something unexpected. A drawing. Sketched on it, in a clear child fashion, are two figures holding hands. The creature and I. See, I told you he was sweet. I look at the drawing in my hands, at the charcoal, and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Of course, I'm going to stay with him. I step over the spear and go into the darkness. Seen by the lake, crouched down with his feet dangling over the water, his arms around his belly, his back to me. Kid? His eyes turn towards me. I extend my hand. He takes it. The memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I was a passenger on a ship flying towards a new home. We crashed, and no one seems to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently, he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. And now I know I was lucky that he did. I tried asking him where it comes from, or if we were on the same ship, but he couldn't answer me. He doesn't remember. The only thing I know is that he came here many years ago, and I suspect he was even have even been born here, and has been living here ever since, alone. And I still don't know what or who caused a track crash. Or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe. I hope. But until then, I don't want to live my days in fear inside of a cave. And neither does he. Sure, he's creepy. So much creepy that sometimes I wonder why I choose to stay. Aw. He had those teeth, for instance. That rough, cracked black skin. Those luminescent eyes in the dark that looked really scary. But when he took my hand lovingly like a child to a parent, I knew the feeling in my heart I did the right thing. He just needed someone to guide him and to protect him. To love him. And that someone was me. Are you sure? Aren't you scared? No, why should I? Because whatever those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Together. There's nine endings to this true ending. Well, I mean, I guess I don't need to find all the other endings because A, it's getting late and I don't have time and I need to be up for work at four in the morning and it's already almost 11. And I do want to watch Revenge of the Sith tonight with Michaela, so. Okay, that was awesome. That was super awesome. What was that? I'm gonna go ahead and save. That was, that was really cool. Uh, I already said yes. Awesome. Well, that was this. That was black. So be sure to check in for the next one because that I want to see you there. This was fantastic. I love everything about this.